Howdy folks, um, just a quick video, uh, first of all thank you to everybody for the last week or so that um, has sent me messages and emails and called me, the support has been absolutely amazing so thank you to everybody through um, a really, safe to say one of the toughest times around. Um, Thank you to everybody that um, has reached out with support and help. It means a great deal. Um, basically, this the purposes of this um, video is just to quickly uh, update, really. Um, just waiting for it to load. Um, we've got some more CCTV footage, which I've spoken to the police about. Um, and they are putting it out on social media and um, the basically last week the first CCTV footage we got um, was we were wrong essentially um, the CCTV footage we showed last week with the small um, white car wasn't the small white car um, in question, it was a completely innocent random car. Um, I found out that, uh, as I say, that wasn't the car. And uh, excuse my delay, guys, I'm just trying to get the uh, thing queued up ready. Um, the, the white car that we thought was the way car last week wasn't the car, it was a completely innocent car that actually ha happened to be passing as it was all happening um, so what we've got now is um, enhanced CCTV from another place we've got CCTV of one of the people passing five doors away um, not wearing a hood and we've zoomed in uh, CCTV of that we've got zoomed in of them running away and we've got a zoomed in uh, capture of the car that um, is definitely the um, the getaway car, essentially. So I'm just going to queue this up for you now. Again, um, it's it's difficult because it's extremely um, stressful and upsetting to not just myself but mainly, more importantly, um, my family, um, Gabby, and particularly um, the TV of one of my people. son, who um, was uh, isolating with us, was here, and who hasn't been back um, to the house since, for obvious reasons, you know, he's scared, he's terrified. Uh, but that saddens me that, as a result of somebody's actions, uh, well, free people's actions that my son no longer feels safe to be um, at his dad's which is uh, pretty sad uh, so I'm going to show you this um, and if anybody can help then be much um, a bit of freezing here one second um, Okay, so hopefully you can uh, you can still see me and hear me. So I'm going to uh, play this first CCTV. So this is the CCTV of. Um, of the people walking to our house and you can see when I play it you can see them walking here now one of these guys away has not got a hood you can see the last person hasn't got a hood on. I'll play that again for you so you can see.
hopefully you can uh, hear that. So again, they, they were the people walking to um, walking to our house. This is the um, this is the scene. So this is the CCTV of them uh, walk, running away. And for those of you who just joined, I want to show you the uh, And for those of you just joined, I want to show you the video of them uh, walking again. Sorry, I've got some sound issues here, guys, tonight. So that's the CCTV of them walking. And as you can see, one of the people hasn't got, isn't wearing his hood at the time, and he's actually the one carrying the petrol can. And then another video we've got um, is of them driving away. Again, I'll show the video of them uh, walking to um, for anybody that's just joined. Uh, we don't have we know the vehicle, what the vehicle was, but we don't know any registration number as of yet. I so say these are the um, these are the people that. Um, we're walking, you can see the guy at the back is the one that's got the petrol can. So, if anybody knows who they may be, please let us know or police know. And, um, unless your police are dealing with this, and uh, any help would be gratefully uh, given. And the last thing, just for context of anybody that's watching this local, um, is that um, we do actually have somebody that had dash cam footage um, of the 
who was passing. Um, they were passing in a in a a light coloured four by four. Um, and I'll play that as well now, um, so that you can see that just to give context for anybody that's local. So this is. Um, dash cam footage of a person that was passing um, and as you can see here this is uh, this is the dash cam footage of him passing our house as the car is on fire here and on the right as you can see uh, but what's interesting is um, this is the guy that was actually delivering the pizzas with the Audi A4 he saw them run across, uh, run up the road. But the important thing here is um, they actually parked in a um, a lay-by here. And you, if anybody knows the area, you'll know where this is. But you see, actually, this the, the, the two lights together are a farm trailer that's been there for a while. But just to the very far right is where they park and you can see the car is backed in um, there so that's it basically if anybody um, as anybody um, if anybody can help it would be um, helpful as I say somebody must know that guy walking without a hood um, walking down to the house without um, as I say it's affected everybody and uh, it's really affected uh, Gabby and Zandi a great deal. It's affected me as well, but I'm more concerned about Gabby and Zandi and how they've been affected. So if anybody can help, please let us know or let, let, let the police know. Uh, we much appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you soon.